am back with another video and in today's video i'm going to talk about how to smell fresh and clean all day so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so during this video i'm going to talk about things that you can do to kind of help your body keep that fresh clean smell i'm also going to talk about a few products that you can use and i know you may be side eyeing me like okay what could you possibly say that i haven't heard before or why do you feel the need for this video but i'll tell you a quick story of why I want to do this video. I was actually, I don't know if it was on Instagram or TikTok or whatever it was, but the lady, the girl was talking about, um, I don't know if it was a perfume or what, or it was a body lotion or something that she was talking about. And she said, okay guys, I'm freshly cleaned as of three days ago. And I'm like, three days ago? Now I do know that some people don't bathe every day. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that it depends on if you have like special needs or things going on with your skin that the doctors may recommend it. But the reason my jaw kind of open is because when you go days and days without bathing, you sweat, you come in contact with other things. The list goes on and on and all all of that can cause you to not smell as fresh as you could and that allows me to segue into the first thing and that would be simply showering every day and again the reason that you want to do that is because if you don't when you sweat and you go and you're around other people and when you're moving about bacteria accumulates when bacteria accumulates on your body and your hair or wherever it begins to smell so a good thing to do would be to bathe every day now you can use a body wash or you can use a soap. If your skin can handle it, pick a body wash that has a scent to it. And one body wash that I like to use is a body cleanser by the Isle of Paradise Body. And if I'm not mistaken, one of the notes in here is grapefruit. And I'll put the note somewhere on the screen. But this gives a really good base when you have a shower gel or a soap or something that is scented. And again, if you have sensitive skin, you can skip this part or maybe find one that really works well for sensitive skin. The other thing that I would say is to wash your hair on a regular basis. Now, some people go very, 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 very long periods of time without washing their hair. Some people wash their hair every day. Some people wash it once a week. But the same thing applies with your hair hair your hair gets dirty from everything that you're around okay so you want to wash your hair frequently and to help you smell fresh all right so next up would be to apply a deodorant and if you can get a scented deodorant apply your deodorant right before you go to bed okay and this allows for it to just kind of soak in and do what it needs to do and then of course again apply it when you get up and the deodorant that I like to use that has a really good scent and if you all shop in Sephora I'm sure you're familiar with it this is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio I can't pronounce the other name but I'll put it somewhere on the screen this is an aluminum free deodorant and this smells so good this smell at least it does to me this scent smells so good so just think about it the night before you shower you use your cleanser that's scented you put on your deodorant that smells divine and you wake up again and you apply it again same thing applies if you're not bathing every day just think about all the bacteria from sweat that's accumulating under your arm and how that's gonna smell so that would be the second thing make sure you apply that deodorant before bed and when you get up in the morning all right so next up would be to wear clean clothes and wash your clothes on a regular basis they have I don't have it in in here with me I forgot to bring it but they I like to use a Lysol disinfectant um, some kind of thing to wash my clothes with I don't have it but I'll put it somewhere on the screen and I use Tide and I use the, the dryer sheet to wash your clothes on a regular basis when you get up in the morning put on clean clothes period per period period put on clean clothes another thing that you need to clean on a regular basis are your bed clothes i like to sleep with white bed clothes my pillowcases are white my sheets are white and my um my comforter everything's white and that way i can see easily if i accidentally get something on it or if, if it gets dirty or whatever but clean your bed clothes regularly i like to clean mine once a week period period i strip my bed down to the bone i wash it all and so if you wear clean clothes you wear uh, uh, clean bed clothes that's going to help you stay fresh also if you wear a bonnet 
watch that too because you would not imagine how just over time if you don't keep things washed it just accumulates the odor and it just turns into something unpleasant all right so next up layer your fragrances instead of opting for a perfume try layering different products so you've already showered with your scented body cleanser then I would go in with a mist. This mist is by Floral and this is their Amber Glaze, I think. I don't have my glasses on, but I'll put it on the screen. This is a good one. Spray that on, let that sit. And for your body lotion, have that be something that has a scent too. For example, by Be this is one by Beekman and this is Honey and Orange Blossom and it comes in a container like this. And then after you layer everything, you can go in with a fragrance, whatever, uh, you know just any fragrance you can go in with the fragrance and put that on in an effort just to not blow people's minds away you could put it on the pressure points or you could put it uh, right there on the inside of your wrist behind your ear um, I've, I've, I've even heard of people putting it under their boobs you know um, just different places that you could put it just just be a little bit subtle when you add your fragrance and always when you're layering your scents um, I don't want to say stay in the same uh, scent family, but if you're not going to stay in the same scent family, at least test it out. I tested out a scent just to kind of make it my own. I put, I have my body wash and my, um, my mist and deodorant and things like that. And then I picked a fragrance and I wasn't even testing it. I just walked past my husband, just walked and he was like, mm, you smell good. <laughs> Of course, I started blushing. But anyway, that's the beauty of layering scents. You can make scents that are your own, especially if you know that a particular scent just kind of turns into something different and special on you. All right, so next up would be diet and nutrition. So, I, of course, I have to tell you a little story. I had a friend and he used to um, eat garlic. You know, he's big on eating foods, heavily garlic or whatever. And it would seep through his pores. And I'm like, and then he would try to wear a cologne on top of it. And I'm like, you smell like garlic. <laughs> so when you eat certain foods, they do tend to seep through your pores. Or if you have a really poor diet, that can affect the way you smell as well. I don't know if you know that, but just kind of think about it. Do you know anybody who has a poor, poor diet? Just kind of think, put your thinking cap on. And how do they smell? Do, does that do, do they smell a certain way? If you eat healthy foods like fruits and vegetables, and you can still eat some of the bad foods that aren't the best for you, just don't indulge every day, all day. And just make it more of where you're eating healthier foods. And you'll find that once uh, you flush all of those toxins out and those odor causing toxins or either type of uh, toxins that can you know seep out through your pores and cause you to smell a certain way once you change your diet that will change the smell as well all right so the next one is and it just kind of piggybacks on what i just talked about and that's simply drinking water drinking water is going to be that thing that um flushes out all of the toxins okay and not only that drinking lots of water helps regulate body heat and what happens when we start to heat up we start to sweat what happens after we sweat that's when the bacteria comes and it's just that that's when the way we smell it just kind of goes downhill and I'll be honest after I start to sweat that's it that, that that's that's it there's no shame in my game <laughs> <laughs> I started to sweat. I just, oh my goodness. It's just, it, and it's so funny because it's like if I go somewhere with my family, especially if it's like uh, somewhere where it's an outing and you got to be dressed up and smelling good. Once I get in the car, I got to have that AC blasting. I mean, it's so blasting so hard or so fast and hard to my hair. It's like... <laughs> You know, it's like straight up, you know, from uh, blowing straight back. I have to stay cool. If I start to sweat, it's over. It, it, I might as well just go back in the house and do it all over again. So water helps to regulate that heat. When you, once you regulate that heat with the body, you can control that sweat and you can control the odor. 
All right, last up is finding relaxation techniques to avoid stress. And when some people get stressed or nervous, they start to sweat and it just kind of goes downhill. So if you can meditate or do yoga or, or different types of stress relieving techniques, then that would be something really good to do. And there's so many things out there that you can apply to pretty much control that. I've seen a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people say, I've tried this, I've tried that, but it's just not working. I still have an odor. And I would say just kind of piece a lot of things together, especially with your diet and keeping your clothes clean and your body clean. You could probably skip all of the, the fragranted, you know, body washes and this, that and the other. But if you keep everything that you put on your body clean, as well as your body and your hair, that's a really good start. So that's just something to think about. So that's it, short and sweet. Let me know down in the comments if you tried any of these steps. And if so, did they work for you or did they not? Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.